So we're gonna check on those sweet potatoes. It's been exactly seven days that I took the sprouted sweet potatoes and I planted some outside and I put some in a vase. And look at this incredible growth. If you guys remember, just seven days exactly, seven days ago, they were these little sweet potato, sprouted sweet potatoes that I put in this vase. And look at the growth now. Come closer and look at this growth. Let's pull one out and see what it looks like. Wow, look, oh my goodness. Look at all those, um, all those roots. From these roots, we're gonna have tons of sweet potato. Here's how you take it and, and um, separate it. I'm using a clean pair of shears. You can also use a knife or just break it apart. And I'm gonna break each one. And each one of these is gonna be its own plant. So that's one plant. I'm gonna cut it again right here. Here's another plant. So you make sure that you have, not just the vine, but you have the leaves. You have the roots, not just a vine with the leaves, but you also have roots. And then this one, I could leave it as is, but I'm gonna cut this one more time. So just like that, I have four separate plants to plant in my garden. Let's see what else we have. Here's another big one. Wow. I put nap a napkin in there to keep it up off uh, from going into the water and look at all these roots. Look at all these beautiful, healthy roots. So let us separate them first. This one, you can actually just snap apart. You don't need the clippers. This is how easy it is to come apart. Here's another one. So I have multiple plants. And this sweet potato, I can actually stick it in the water and it will send up even more shoots. So just from these three small pieces of potato, this was actually just a piece. I'm getting multiple, multiple sweet potato vines that I can grow and I can also share with my friends. This one is actually two vines. This actually has an extra vine. I'm gonna let it stay together. Then this one, I'm gonna stick back in the water. I can pull some off, but I'm gonna stick it back in the water so it can grow more. So you guys can see, Here's one more. There are two more in here. All right, you guys can see, just from using your old sweet potatoes that you were probably gonna throw away because they were sprouting, that look like this, you probably are gonna dump them anyway. No, don't dump them. Add them to water, and you too can have multiple plants. Look at these sweet potatoes. Look at all these sweet potato vines you got. From each of these um, sweet potatoes, a sweet potato vines I'm gonna have pounds and pounds of sweet potatoes you can grow these in the bag in a grow bag you can grow them in a large container or if you have space in your garden you can grow them in your garden be sure to use very rich soil be sure that the soil is very loose because the, the, these roots have to be able to go go down through the soil if you're gonna grow it in a bag be sure to use potting soil like a, a good potting soil mix I love Kellogg's potting soil mix or you can use raised bed mix if you're gonna put it in a garden. Um, always add either bone meal or rich organic for, um, fertilizer. Be sure that whatever soil you use, be sure that it's organic because we don't want pesticides in our body. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you for today. Let's plant, grow, and eat together. You guys see how, how easy it is to grow your own sweet potato vines. Before you know it, I'm gonna stick some of these back in the water. Before you know it, I'm gonna be eating these vines and I'm gonna be waiting patiently till my sweet potatoes are ready. Bye now.